Okay, good morning and good evening sa lahat ng mga nanonood ngayon, lalo na sa aking mga sudyante. Okay? Um, our general instruction for this video is that watch and watch the sample lecture video and understand. Okay? Do not skip, kundi panoorin nyo ng maayos at intindihin. Next is, go to your own Google Classroom for the online quiz after watching this sample lecture video. And number three, enjoy doing this sample online quiz. Next. Lesson for today, class is all about solutions. Okay? Solutions. Tata niya, solutions. Hindi lang siya ginagamit format, ginagamit din siya sa science. Okay? Next, let's have a review about solutions. Okay? When we say homogeneous mixture class, uh, ibig sabihin nito, they appear as one substance. Okay? When you mix two substances, it appear one phase. Iisa ang mukha. Okay? Example of this substance is tap water, vinegar, gold jewelry, and many more. Tandaan yung class, when you mix uh, substances, yung solu uh, not solution, yung, yung result niya is iisa lang ang kulay o isa lang ang mukha. Yun ang ibig sabihin ng homogeneous mixtures. As you can see, may, may nakikita kayong picture dyan na ang tawag dito ay coins, coin ng Canada, at jewelry. Those are examples of homogeneous solution. Next. For this video, you will learn or we will learn on how to identify the solute and the solvent in a variety of solution. And number two, um, we will learn on how to distinguish between soluble and insoluble substances. The last part of this um, learning is that hindi natin ito gagamitin class kasi from the start pa lang sinabi ko sample lang to, so we will not talk about more so these are only the two things that you need to learn from this video okay let's move now solutions have two parts okay first is the solute and the second is the solvent, okay? Solute means the substance that dissolve, or in other words, found in less amount. Ibig sabihin, ito yung mga substances na tinutuna ako sa Tagalog pa, o sila yung nadi-dissolve. When we say solvent class, these are the type of substance na, na sila yung solute na tumutuna o sila yung tumut sila yung tumutuna sa solute o for example I'll give you an example water and sugar okay if you're going to identify which of the two is the solute and the solvent the solvent is the water and the solute is the sugar ganun lang ka simple okay next oh see this or, nakikita nyo class, may tinatawag tayong dissolve the solute in the solvent. Ibig sabihin, itong picture na to, ang solvent ay yung water. Yung solute, ito yung substance na tutunawin ng solvent. Okay? Is, meron dito sa baba, solute is yung salt. Yung solvent, yun ang water. Okay? Anything the hand? Okay, next. What is dissolving class? Okay, dissolving is to mix completely the solute dissolves into the solvent or some substances are able to dissolve better than others. Ibig sabihin class, pag sinabing dissolving, ibig sabihin ito yung tutunawin o matutunaw. Actually class, in some parts of our, le our lesson, Marami siyang parts o marami siyang types kung paano madi-dissolve yung solute sa solvent. Pwede siyang steering, 
pwede stirring or mix it well, ano pa, at marami pang iba na pwede nating magawa when, when we hear this word dissolving. So, as you look at here, class, ito yung solvent sa taas, water, at ito yung solute. Pag, pag hinalo mo yan sila, class, ibig sabihin, pag na-dissolve yung solute, ang tawag mo sa process nito ay dissolving process. Okay? Ibig sabihin, natunaw. O sa Tagalog pa. Next slide is, how are substances soluble? Sorry, rather, soluble. Okay? How are substances are soluble? Okay, the particle of theory matter states that there are attractive forces between the particles. Ibig sabihin, class, yung molecules na water at molecules ng solute, pag pinaghalo mo sila, class, mag-i-interact mag, mag, mag o magre-react. So, once nag-react sila, there is a tendency, class, na either ma-break yung molecule and then ma-break into many pieces and then ma-dissolve siya. Kasi kung titignan natin, class, uh, para ma-dissolve yung isang substance, kailangan mas maraming amount ang tinatawag nating solvent kaysa solute. Okay? Yun ang ibig sabihin nito. There are attractive forces between the particles. Yun ang ibig sabihin yung class. It talks about the molecules between two uh, between the two substances. In order to dissolve, oh, ito yung sinasabi ko, the particles must be more strongly attracted to the particles of the solvent than to themselves. Okay? Ibig sabihin, class, hindi pwede yung solute to solute. No, no, hindi. Hindi pwede yung solute madissolve yung sarili niya. So, kailangan niya ng ibang substances para may meron siyang madissolve. Para yung solute ay madissolve siya ng solvent. Okay? This means that the solute is soluble in the solvent. Ibig sabihin, class, may mga materials talaga na o oh, may so solute substances na pwede siyang matunaw o mat matunaw sa isang uh, substance or which we call it a solvent material. Na nito class. If something is able to dissolve, then it is soluble. Ibig sabihin, kung meron daw madidissolve o kayang madissolve, ibig sabihin, ang tawag nito ay soluble. Okay? For example, sugar dissolves in water. Ibig sabihin, natunaw ang sugar sa tubig. Okay, yan. Very common yan, lalo na pag naghahalo tayo ng, kunya, nagkakapit tayo, at saka mainit na tubig. So, na-dissolve yung um, co coffee powder sa uh, hot water. So, ang tawag nyo doon ay soluble. O, soluble, ibig sabihin, natunaw. Able, parang nakakayanan ng isang solvent na matunaw. So, ang tawag nyo doon ay soluble. Next. Paano naman daw, or how are substances are insoluble? Okay. If the particles of the solute are more attracted to their own particles than the solvent particles, dissolving does not occur. Okay. The solute is said to be insoluble in that solvent. Ibig sabihin, class, when two substances are mixed together, or you, I mean, sorry, when you try to mix two substances, Tapos hindi sila nagahalo. Ibig sabihin, uh, yung, yung solute at ang solvent na molecules ay hindi sila nag-a-attract. Okay? Hindi sila nag-a-attract. So, ibig sabihin, pag walang attractions between two molecules, walang dissolve na mangyayari. So, ang tawag nyo doon class is insoluble. Example. Best example is water and oil. Okay? Ang water and oil, hindi sila nag-mix. Okay? Kasi ang oil, mas less dense ang water. Yung molecules niya is mas dense ang water. Kaya hindi talaga sila pwedeng mag-mix o maghahalo. Okay. Next is, something is unable to dissolve, then it is unsoluble. Ibig sabihin, pag pinaghalo mo yung dalawang bagay o dalawang substances na hindi na-dissolve, yung bawat isa, o nakikita mo yung part, insoluble yon. For example, sun does not dissolve in water. Pag, pag hinalo mo yung sun sa water, hindi siya madidissolve. Hindi siya madidissolve. Okay? 
makikita mo lang yung parts ng sand at parts ng water. Just like oil and water. Makikita mo yung part ng oil, makikita mo din yung part ng water. Okay. That's all for our sample lecture video. And I hope you enjoy watching it. Thank you and good luck.